Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my first video for Formality Gamers. It's Luke here. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to be doing is a GTA Online series. It's called Road to Success. And um, yeah, so this is the first video. We're going to be doing the character creation for the Formalities one. So I've got my own one here, level 25. You know, got a few stats, but low on the stealth there. But um, yeah, so my plan for this one then is to go through every single mission, race, deathmatch, last man standing, uh, survival online, and to do a video on every single one. So yeah, so it's going to be quite hard, I think. Survival's a bit difficult. You got to be with the right players. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's what I do get. And um, yeah, so let's get into this then. To me, I wish that the online character creation was a bit better than well, what it is. Because all you do is you choose your mum and dad, your dad's resemblance, your mum's resemblance. And then your character comes out of that. So, let's have a look. Heritage. Mum's mother. Uh, let's do that one. Let's have a look. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, what I would have done it is a sort of, you know, the uh, Sims way, where you could create every little piece of your character, so you could choose the eyes, everything else. I mean, you could do that on the appearance, but not quite. Oh, you didn't really have to do any of this. But it, it's not too bad, like, you can make your character out of it. I'll just do that. Mum's uh, resemblance, still about, I don't know, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, a bit more on the feminine side. Dad's mother, let's have a look, we'll do that one. Uh, we'll do... Um, yeah, we'll just do that, and uh, dad resemblance, uh, your your gender, male. Bit more on dad's side, but a bit for the mum as well. Right, lifestyle. Sitting on the couch, partying, doing illegal work, playing sports with friends and family. Um, it's not too bad actually this one, but I am gonna add just a couple sitting on the couch, you know. Right, that's about it, to be honest, that's quite good. Uh, age, do that the youngest one, I think it's 21, is it? Yeah. Ha. Hmm. Let's have a look. Should we do dreadlocks? No, I don't really see it. Uh, well, something that looks alright. <laughs> that looks pretty funny. Let's have a look. Black. Huh? Looks a bit weird. Let's do a uh, clean shave. Clean shave. Wish she had a bit of a. Yeah, well, I doubt it. Uh, no hat, no glasses. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Right, what's this? Enter your character's name. Just name this for Malady Gamers. But yeah, guys, that's basically what I've got planned for this channel is to go through every single one and uh, do a series on it. So, oh, okay, I'll just name it for money then. Ready? Let's go. But yeah, so it's. I didn't. I was actually struggling on what I should do for this because the high level is somewhat ridiculously high. Uh, if you you know to level up and things like that, so like I was just watching this. Um, I'll leave this on for you guys.
that shit do, you big old pimp, you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. You, like, smaller than you look in your picture, but... Ah, oh, fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? But I said, you just probably need to get settled in. Got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> so yeah, guys. Yeah, that's dog, about I'm it. glad you here, um, man. It's all kinds of opportunities. Start talking again here. You guys have probably seen this for yourself. But looking at the game reviews, just moving on to GTA 5 itself, I do honestly think this deserves a 10. I mean, yeah, okay, there has been some issues online which have now been fixed, and I know there is some still some glitches about. Uh, mini glitches and things like that but overall yeah I do think it's a 10 the single player I thought was absolutely brilliant and the uh, online's brilliant as well so yeah I can see why it's got a 10 and things like that but as I was saying about levels guys I believe the highest level is like 999 or something so I thought well I can't I reckon that'd be really boring to do a series right up until you're like level 999 to be honest I don't even think I'd be able to do it so I just thought, well, might as well go through everything, guys. And I mean literally everything. You'll see me going down menus, doing that mission, doing that mission, and then doing the one after that, right, until the very last one. A lot of it's uh, two teams, so even if I lose, you know, even if I win, guys, I don't mind. You know, it's all about fun. That's what a series should be about. So that's what mine's going to be about, fun. So if I lose, I lose. If I win, that's great. But yeah, that's what it's about, so... Yeah, so this is my first video for Full Money Gamers, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this channel. Because as we've got some new games that have came out very recently, such as Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed 4, I really, really wanted to do a walkthrough series on it. So I'm tempted to do one on Battlefield and maybe Assassin's Creed, but I might just do it on Assassin's Creed, I don't really know yet. But yeah, I want to basically, we want to make this channel grow, guys, and really help, hope, not help, that you can help us do that. So please do leave a like, comment and subscribe if you do enjoy our content. You know, you've got the series from Kyle, you've got the Tech It series and you've got mini game series. You know, you've got quite a lot of things guys and you know, if you do enjoy it then please just leave us a like and whatever else and subscribe to us because it really does help us out to do this. Talking about this part actually, I believe I am actually going to race some people, yeah. When I first got it um, I only raced Lamar, like, I don't know what was going on, I think it was glitching, it was around the day that GT Online came about, so it don't really surprise me if that was why. But, um, yeah, you know, I, that's all I could do, really, was uh, race Lamar, so it wasn't really much of a challenge, but this is going to be a challenge anyway, racing all these players. Hopefully we win, I'm not too sure. Let's just hope, see what cards are available. Right. Yeah, when I first did it as well, I got a mini. I don't think that's here. That's not there. It's something called. That's not that car. So. No, I'm gonna put my lock in that. What kind did you choose, guys? Leave a comment below. Your bet. To be honest, I only just started. I don't really want to put any bets on. <laughs> Characters hair. I just put spiky hair on my other guy. I think you would have seen him. Launching job. Here we go, guys. Hopefully, we win this race. Fingers crossed. First video for the <laughs> for the channel. Come on, let me win. <laughs> oh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, I just went for a complete different car. That's, that's fine.
Can you go? Yep. What the hell? Does it mean that just glitch? Probably chose the worst car now. Great. <laughs> Wait for you guys. Oh, fair enough. Second. Not a bad start. I don't feel I can maintain this start, guys. Looks like they all managed to spin out and stuff like that, which happened to me on my main character. But this one's not too bad actually, it's quite smooth. So far anyway. <laughs> I do love racing games. You got like Forza, F1. I really do love games like that. I haven't played F1 2013 yet, but as you, if you guys follow Formula 1, you would have seen that Sebastian Vettel won four times World Champions. That's a great achievement. So well done to him for that. I really, really wish I didn't choose that car now. Because they're, they're already picking up on me. Time wise. I don't know. Hopefully we uh, come out on top anyway. You know, we already are like that. Hope you can maintain that. So yeah, I do think the driving in this game is actually really quite good. Um, better than, much better than Grand Theft Auto 4, I think, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a lot better. Because the car handles better, and obviously it spins out more. Which some people find annoying. I do as well, I'm not going to lie, but it's not always a bad thing when it's to do with racing and things like that. Makes it just more realistic. One of the first missions on this game is actually a sports car. Not a race, but following somebody... I think it is the man that you race, no, no, sorry, not race, uh, drive around recklessly with, and you get a really great experience of the driving in this game. But I'm still first, it's not too bad, doing fairly well, I think. I just want that finish line to come so I can take the first win for the channel. Oh, I've still got a turn left yet. And then a right, and then the finish line's there. Come on, we can do this. Yes, come on, come on, and yes, we've done it, he's not far behind me, but there we go, finish first, probably should have put a bet on that, just didn't want to take any risks, need all that money, did we get any money for this, 3.8 grand, not too bad, level 2, way, there we go, bang, Right, so that was actually quite good. Let's continue. Minus 100. I think he's the only geezer who betted. I don't know. See, have a lot. Total time: 2 minutes 46, 2 minutes 48. Not too bad. What's going on now? Yeah, they're in the surge. Lamar Emperor. The primo ain't too bad, but it is a little bit slow. I can see why they were gaining on me through almost every corner. But yeah guys, I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Do leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We've got plenty more coming soon guys. So uh, yeah, part two and things like that will be finishing off the introduction on GTA on. See you later guys.